Of course, in the fall, everybody needs to think about saving seeds. Of course, there's other times in the year when seeds come up, mm -hmm. but the majority of them are coming in, in, in the fall. And this is by Sue Smith, um, and she says, saving seed is about keeping the circle unbroken, nurturing the spark of life, and passing it on. Our seeds tie us to the past. With them, we preserve the future. In a simple, sacred act of saving seeds, we become the stewards of thousands of years of plant evolution. And we thank uh, her uh, for that and for uh, uh, that uh, was on one of our shows in the, in the past. Um, and uh, we, uh, we thank uh, uh, the people who uh, let us have that uh, in the past on seed saving. Then we should point out, by the way. Yes, go ahead. There are giant mega corporations Oh, that yes. are trying to stop this. This is this is horrible, folks. I mean, we can't even uh, uh, get on a uh, non. Spit it out. <laughs> I want to strangle them. You know, Monsanto, oh. you are not good guys. No, you're not helping. You're not helping people. You're not helping plants, and you are just absolutely greedy. Mm -hmm. And to stop people from saving seeds is totally ludicrous. And it's not even natural. And they talk about their, their well, it biotech. Isn't good, it isn't good business. No good business. Because for, most of these decisions are made for instant gain. Right. And no one is looking ahead five years. Right. In fact, no one looks ahead five years about anything these days, even it's, automobile design. It seems like that. So uh, we uh, do have uh, 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 something that I want to uh, bring up now that we brought up Monsanto. We, they br uh, brought in a woman from Brazil uh, to uh, uh, do Agrigen, uh, and they are bringing in 260,000 eucalyptus trees. Guess where, folks? The southeast is getting 260,000 of these trees. And international paper is providing the plantations. And our main sponsor, Dogwood Alliance, is on this one. And we are going to stop this. Uh, please write to everybody about this uh, really uh, stupid. Uh, well, uh, you should explain why. Go ahead. You, no, you. Go ahead. Uh, well, uh, you know, the, the whole reason for, for uh, uh, having anything is to fit it into your landscape. And eucalyptus trees suck water. I mean, they, they will take everything away from every native. And uh, they th throw seeds that are incredible, the amounts of seeds that we're... With. And here's the other thing, folks. None of this has been tested. None of it, they're going to test it in our uh, southeast to see if this thing even works. Now, the worst nightmare is, is this gets away and we're going to have another uh, multi-flora rose, uh, Japanese oh. honeysuckle, uh, uh, bittersweet. Japanese spirea, I mean, yeah, bittersweet. Bittersweet. Uh, and the list goes on and on. And uh, Jim Hightower. Uh, said about the FDA uh, thinking about approving this. Uh, I mean, USDA, USDA, write your Congress people. USDA is making a mistake. This is not a good move. And if if the other countries of the world, every one of them, won't allow this, why should we in America be the testing ground for Monsanto? who has shown consistently to not be for the people well, or for the plants. Can I ask a rhetorical question? Sure. Why would anybody want to bring a plant that succeeds in the barrenness of Australia and is a major food for the koala bear? Why would anybody want to bring it to the southeast of the United States of America? In, in fact, California has made this illegal. You can, they couldn't even do this in California. But we in the South sit back 
So many of these uh, paper companies have large tracts of land, and they are up for this, and they're in cahoots with, uh, with uh, Monsanto. And people, you need to get active about this tragedy that's about to happen in our, in our wonderful country uh, and in this wonderful region. I, I cry at night uh, thinking about uh, how we are just not protecting the environment. In fact, we're doing things that are just opposite to that. Well, you know, I hate to mention it. But Go ahead, um, mention it. You know, <coughs> marijuana? Yes. Forget the chemical properties of marijuana. Right. One of the most magnificent suits for traveling I ever saw was available here in Asheville. There used to be a store that sold right. things made out of hemp. hemp. It was the most beautiful summer suit. Right. And it would crumple up like a paper bag, and you could throw it in the bottom of your suitcase, and then when you got to the great banquet, you could go like this, put on a clean shirt and a silk tie, and, and you there. looked like you were part of royalty. Yeah, so, so Americans can't do this. Every other country, industrialized country in the world, it's okay. You know, people in, in North Dakota are uh, aghast at why a line in the sand, they can't grow uh, the hemp that's grown over in Canada. And, and it is not, the stuff grown in Canada, you yes. can't get high on. Not right. The hemp, hemp, <laughs> hemp is not marijuana. And uh, Hearst uh, put that through in 34 when they started DEA. And this is uh, the big, one of the biggest hoax that has ever been pe perpetrated on the United Guess States. Guess what else it makes? Go ahead. Great paper. Oh, there are 2,500 uses for hemp, including birdseed, yeah. the best birdseed out there, the best amino acid, uh, uh, number three amino acids. Used to be a great ornamental plant, by the way. There were cultivars with colored yeah. leaves, yeah. and every English garden and every American garden had them until the 20s. Right. Right. And, and, and you have to ask yourself, if it was so bad in 34 to make it illegal, how come when the war broke out, all of a sudden it's legal to grow it because we need it for rope? Yeah. Rope. The, one of the best things for, uh, for, for rope is hemp. It is, the, it is the only good. Still, today, there are no fake ropes. Rope <laughs> made of hemp are the best ropes in the world and we're a billion dollar industry which I think now 12 states out of 50 are allowed to grow it. Uh, it's 14. 14. 14. 14 uh, North Carolina tried to put in a law, we, we mentioned it on the program, um, and to be the 15th state. Uh, New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, uh, Vermont are all looking at the this legislation. Uh, there's people still in North Carolina uh, trying to push it for the next session, and we would encourage. In fact, it is almost in this time of economic peril, uh, pretty dumb not to have something that you could tax that would be a good tax. That's because most of the decisions made uh -huh. are made by people who have know absolutely nothing about plants, nothing about horticulture. Right. But they remember, well, you can't grow something that's going to set a bad example for our children. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, all we can say is that we do not believe any plan should be discriminated against.